So guys, on this video, I'll be sharing with you how you can come up with a simple flyer design for the Salah celebration. So without further ado, let's dive into this video. So first thing first, you have to create a Canva workspace for the design by clicking on new file. The new document panel actually comes up. I have to uncheck this. I don't need this to be in form of an artboard precisely. So I'll set my unit of measurement in pixels, 1080 by 1080 of height and width. So I'll give the project a name, which will be called Salah uh, Flyer. So I'll leave other settings the way the resolution can be set on 300, color mode remains on RGB, and I'll hit the Create button. So over here, we have the Canva workspace on which I'll be designing. So the next thing I'd like to do is to drag in the resources I'll be using for this tutorial. So over here are the resources I'll be using for this design. Do well to check the video description. You'll find the link to the exercise file in the video description. So in the first phase of creating this design has to do with creating of the background. So I'll be using this image over here to create the background. So I hit Ctrl T on the keyboard, hold Alt on the keyboard to transform out from the middle and click on the check button. Okay, so after I'm done with that, I would like to turn off this layer, select the background layer, come over here on the adjustment and enable the gradient. Over here on the gradient field, I will click on the gradient button. Over here, you'll notice we we'll have the gradient editor. And over here on the gradient editor, I've already created a preset of gradients I'll be using for this design. Over here, here's the hex code for the color I'm actually using. And this is located on 13 on the slide over here. While on this other end, here's the hex code for the color I'm actually using as well. And this is located on 83. Please take note that both uh, colors are having a fill opacity of 100% on both ends respectively. So after you're done with that, you click on the OK button. So after I'm done with that, I'd like to change this to radial to be precise, invert this and set this to about uh, 163 is OK. And for this, I'd like to set this at this particular angle. Okay, and place this like this. Okay, I'm dragging this out and placing it around this region like this. So I'll click on the OK button, enable this, and change the blending mode for this to this to be precise. So after I'm done with this, I would like to create a noisy feel on the background. So I hit Ctrl Shift N on the keyboard to create a new layer and call this noise to be precise and change the blending mode to soft light, enable the 50% grey option and click on the OK button. After you're done with that, come to the filter and apply the noise, click on add noise. So on the add noise, I think this radius is actually good enough. Enable the uniform and the monochromatic to give it the crunchy feel uh, on the background. So I click on the OK button. So I'll select this layer, hold shift, select this other layer, hit Ctrl G and group them together. I'll call this BG, which stands for the background. So next we have an image of a lady, an Islamic lady. So before working on this image, I always advise you to right click and convert your model or your subject image to a smart object. By doing so, it enables you to maintain the image resolution whenever you scale it out or scale it up without losing uh, its resolution. And one of the other benefits is it enables you to make subsequent changes to the layer at any point in time in your design. So I'll hit Ctrl T to transform and place this around somewhere here like this. Okay, so after I'm done, I would like to scale this down. Okay, scale it up a little and place it around here like this. So after I'm done with this, the next thing I would like to do is to add depth to this image. Okay, this uh, lady image is so flat. So I would like to add depth to this image. So in order for me to do this, I'll come over here on the filter and enable the camera raw. So over here on the camera raw, I would like to enable the before and the after so that you have a good preview of how the image was looking like before and after. So basically, I'll open the basics uh, panel over here. When using this uh, panel, please take note that there are no rules governing this. This is more of an eyeballing situation. You allow your eyes to actually guide you through the whole process. So the first thing I actually look out for when working with the camera raw is looking up on the texture. I like to increase the texture to a good radius. 
likewise i would like to increase the clarity as well to a good radius that will give it uh, a good uh, sharpening look okay so after i'm done with that i would like to enhance this as well okay then i'll come back over here and start working on the exposures so for the exposure i would like to add a little fill on this for the contrast i would like to enhance this as well this way i think for the highlight as well i would like to take it up like this it's okay like this for the shadows i also like to enhance this this way like this okay so after i'm done come over here to the white and make a reduction in the saturation this way i think it's okay like this okay so i'll come over here on the black and take this down like this so after i'm done with the basics i'll come over here and click on details to add more details to this image so i'll start by increasing the sharpening of the image to this radius and the noising as well can be enhanced as well so this is the before and this is the after you can now see how this image is actually looking like so after you are done you click on the ok button okay this is how the image is looking like currently so after we are done with this the next thing we'll have to do is to start placing in our information but before doing that i would like to make adjustment to this layer so i'll come over here and adjust this like this okay i need the light to be at the back of the lady okay that is in terms of that so after i've done with that i would like to actually uh stand visible but before standing visible i'd like to add a new layer over here pick the brush to to actually sample color from the background i would like to apply a little feel of that color on these edges to depict a reflection from the light at the background okay so i'll right click and make sure i'm working with the soft round brush make sh making sure that the flows and the opacity are set to a good radius for the flows i would like to scale it down to around 18 to be precise and i would like to scale down to the size of my brush using the open and close bracket key beside the p button and i would like to then apply the fill on this like this okay trying to create that feel of the atmosphere effect from the background so after I'm done, I would like to hold out in between these two layers. You notice what happened. You have my mouse pointer looking like this. Okay. So I will left click and this will actually clip mark the effect on this. So I can come over here and choose to change the blending mode or I can still choose to reduce the opacity the way I want. Or I can also double click on it and this will actually come up okay the layer style will come up i would like to add more depth to some region hold or to break this slider and add the fill gently on the scarf okay that is in terms of that so i don't need it to be too intense on the scarf so i can click on the okay this is the before and this is the after okay so after i'm done with that the next thing i would like to do is to stand visible so i hold ctrl shift alt e on the keyboard to stand visible right click and convert it to a smart object okay so after i'm done with that i'll come over here and create a rectangle of this size like this okay and give it a feel of your choice so i'll come over here i'll place this over here like this okay that is in terms of that so the next thing I would like to do is to place in the text for uh, the message. So I'll come over here, left click and place in this text, Ctrl T to actually transform it out. And I would like to change the name of this font to another font called Delta is the name of the font I'll be using for this. So I'll set this on Delta board to be precise, Ctrl T to scale it out properly and you can choose to position it like this so after you are done come to your character panel in a situation where you don't have your character panel over here you can enable it from the window and click on the character panel so over here i would like to adjust 
directly leading that is the space between text on the vertical axis okay so after i'm done with that so the next thing i would like to do is to place in the message so i'll place in the message over here and i would like to place it inside the rectangle like this okay so after i'm done i would like to transform and scale this out properly okay and leave this like this okay let me still scale this out like this i think this is okay so after i'm done with uh, all this text layer i would like to turn them off with this other shape layer over here so for the rectangle layer i would like to take it beneath the this layer which i merged earlier so for this i would like to hold alt in between these to create a clipping max between the two layers turn this on you notice that the rectangle layer actually disappeared because this uh, layer is actually clipped to this so the next thing i would like to do here is to actually select this layer where i have this clip maxed okay and come over here to filter and enable the, uh, the blur and apply the gaussian blur on the gaussian blur i'll be using this videos now you can now see uh, how the layer is actually looking like so i'll set this on this particular radius and i'll click on the ok button after i'm done with that come to filter enable the filter gallery option and on the filter gallery option i need you to select the distort and select glass okay on the glass option i need to create a feel of a glass texture uh, for that rectangle so you can do this by playing with each of these sliders this way okay you can see how it's actually looking like on that particular image okay so you can scale it up or you can actually scale it down it all depends on what you want to create so after you're done uh, you can click on the ok button for that so after you're done with increasing that you can select the rectangle layer over here double click on it the layer style comes up on the layer style i would like to add a little fill of stroke to this so i'll be using the white fill for this and i will be setting them as follows okay so next i would like to enable the inner shadow for the inner shadow i would like to adjust it manually and i would like to set the opacity on white the blending mode can be set on the overlay and you can choose to scale this the way you actually want it to look like okay you can still adjust it manually by left clicking on your canva and adjusting the position for the inner glow option i also like to set it as follows and finally for this i also like to add this fill over here okay that is the shadow fill so to create contrast from the background so after i'm done i'll leave other settings the way they are and i'll click on the ok button okay so over here i'll come to the property panel in a situation you don't have yours here you can enable it from the windows as well the name is called property i like to add a little feel of curve to this okay i think this is actually okay like this so the next thing i like to do is to enable my text okay select the layer come over here on your character increase the spacing between the text okay you can adjust the spacing and make sure they are actually aligned properly okay inside the shape so after you're done select this ctrl t right click and set, set this to counterclockwise and you can choose to place this this way and scale it down like this okay so i can still choose to increase the space between the text gently like this and scale down the size furthermore downward this way so after you're done with that you enable this over here and you can actually choose to place this like this okay and click on the check button okay that is in terms of that so i can choose to move this to any place in the canva workspace and you see what happened ctrl t when i move it you can see that you have a reflection of the lady on the background okay that is in terms of me converting and applying the glass textures 
and the other few thousand them okay so in the final phase of this i would like to adjust this to be precise i would like to adjust this image this way a little bit okay and i would like to still take this down like this okay so after we are done with that on the final phase you can come over here and apply the color lookup of your choice that you feel fits on the project so you can choose any color lookups that you like and apply it to your project so ladies and gentlemen we have come to the end of this video if you find this video helpful do well to give it a like do well to smash the like button if you are new to the channel and you would like to see more content from me do well to smash the subscribe button smash the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to get notification whenever I upload new content and if you are a returning subscriber guys thank you for always watching do well to leave a comment in the comment section do well to leave your comment in the comment section if you're able to achieve any design with the help of any of my tutorial do well to always tag me whenever you upload them on your socials at yj digital world on all platforms thank you guys for watching and see you in the next